Right, back at the coal face. Um, we have a very old JAP 250, I believe it is, engine stripped down here, or bottom end of. I haven't got the whole engine here yet, but I've sent the bottom end to have a look at, and um, I've already just split the cases and got the crank out to have a look. And um, we'll have a look at the crank cases in a moment, but the main bearings and everything appear to be new or as new, and the big end feels very good with um, no discernible play in it and if I rotate the crank admittedly we're between centers again as I usually do you can see that there's perhaps a half a thou if that movement on that gauge and we've got two thou on that one they are actually going in opposite directions so we have got an overall run out of two and a half thou maximum there this is probably not quite that actually when you allow for the fact that I've got the um, probes of the gauges at an angle. Um, they're not quite vertical but that's because of where I want to pick up my measurements and uh, obviously the clocks would end up fouling the flywheels if I got them too close and upright. But um, So uh, we probably in in the real world got very very slightly less than what we're seeing on the gauges but what we're seeing on the gauges is certainly far from alarming anyway so that's all good um, over here I've got the crankcases separated and to me that bush in there I don't know how well the camera will pick it up I know some people complain about the light I've got in this place so I'll do my best um, it looks like the engines barely or even never run as far as those two bushes, the time inside um, main bearing bush and the uh, camshaft bush look brand new to me there. And um, I've got the rollers out the uh, drive side main bearing bagged up nice and safe, but the outer race again that doesn't look to me like it's ever been run, uh, this engine, with that main bearing. I think that's brand new. And over here, back to the crank, it's one of those where the, uh, the main shaft runs directly in the rollers. And there's absolutely no sign of any wear on that either. So, going by all that and the feel of the big end... I would be quite tempted to leave it all well alone, but if the owner decides he'd like me to split the crank and take a look, because apparently he's thinking of even possibly tuning this engine a little bit, and there was there were thoughts of possibly lightening the flywheels a little, but um, it might be best to let sleeping dogs lie and sort of quit while you're ahead. But um, that'll be discussed, and we'll see what we do next. But certainly the bottom end of the JAP engine is to all in per in intents and purposes like new so I'm pretty sure that'll be good news for him and uh, a very good start to the project. <laughs> 